business failures that set me back subsequently recovered from, but it taught me a lot about human nature and greed and just made that determination that uh, I was just going to forget about all that and try to get back to my roots. We pulled the plug on the big city lifestyle and went to the wilderness in the Canadian wild. Built your own log cabin by hand. Michael was just watching one of Sean's YouTube vlogs about him melting snow. And if I remember correctly, he wasn't just melting snow. He was pouring maple syrup into it. You've chosen this to be your lifestyle. You've done that. Simplifying life and becoming self-reliant. cold out here this morning. It was actually minus one overnight. So below freezing with um, some frost, heavy dew, but you can hear the birds chirping. There's still some spring peepers chirping away or peeping away down there in the in the meadow behind me here. Just drinking some chag of tea um, while I was getting everything uh, going this morning. I was listening to a podcast of um, well, a podcast of some guys actually interviewing me or talking to me on their podcast, which was the first time, yeah, I think that was, yeah, I guess that is the first time I've ever done a podcast. I've talked in the past about doing my own podcast, and it is something I definitely I want to do, and I plan on doing it um, sometime this year. So today is May 11th, 12th, something like that. 2019 I'm hoping I would say by I don't want to be too ambitious I'd like to get it uh, started earlier this year but I think what's more likely to happen more practical or realistic would be to plan on starting it on um, let's say January beginning of January 2020 in the meantime I am open to do doing other people's podcasts so the one that I just uh, participated in I guess it was about a week and a half ago. The guys called me, or uh, we did Skype um, interview for about 45 minutes, and uh, it was interesting. It was, yeah, you know, it's always, you know, I've got my perspective that I'm showing here all the time, but it's really not instigated by somebody else's questions or or comments, other than yours, of course. I do react to yours quite often, but as far as somebody sitting, you know, across the table from me or on the phone or in this case on Skype, asking me questions. It um, makes me, of course, consider the questions that they're asking more than what I would normally talk about myself, if that makes sense. Um, so what ends up happening is that questions are asked about sort of the behind the scenes and behind my, in my backstory, how I got to where I am now and, and what instigated that. Uh, what's different, I think, uh, one of my challenges is that I'm doing what I'm doing here, but I don't, <laughs> like to focus on why I'm doing it or how I'm doing it, I guess with my equipment and stuff like that it seems to be sort of a besides the point for me anyway but I know there's a lot of people that follow my YouTube channels and my other social media accounts that are trying to do something similar either the self-reliant lifestyle or more uh, specifically starting up a YouTube channel or writing for magazines or writing for a tourism board or um, you know uh, taking photographs and selling them, whatever it is, something you know, making, earning a living around social media or around uh, media in general, like uh, marketing materials and stuff. So, like I said, it's not something I typically talk about because that's not my focus, but it has ended up becoming a big part of my life and it does finance my lifestyle. So, what these guys offer, what the guys on this podcast uh, asked me was sort of that background. Now, the three of these fellows are are professional wildlife photographers and they're biologists as well. Not sure if any of them practice biology, wildlife biology currently, but that's their background and of course it's because very useful for their craft, their, uh, their uh, wildlife photography, understanding uh, wildlife behavior and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, their names are Mark, uh, Mark Raycroft and you would have seen, if you were watching my other channel, you would have seen me look, uh, reading this book inside in front of the fire. This is Mark's book. So Mark is one of the hosts of the Wild and Exposed podcast. Uh, Michael Morrow is a filmmaker, 
and Ron Hayes, who's a, a professional wildlife photographer as well. So the three of them host this podcast. And I met up with Mark in Algonquin Park several weeks ago where he gave me this book. And we had a nice long chat about uh, just life and and the wildlife and outdoors and all and self-reliance, all that kind of stuff. So we agreed to uh, talk to each other online uh, through podcast format. So this podcast, I'm going to provide a link in the description below and also you know, play a couple of excerpts throughout what I'm talking about here, but just wanted to uh, expose you to them, Wild and Exposed, and encourage you to check out uh, not only their podcast, but also their individual uh, social media accounts, especially Instagram, where they show their awesome, like just incredible wildlife photography. So I'll put those links in the description below as well. Obviously, this is not a paid promotion. This is just me talking about something that I did recently that I was interested in. Now, whenever I come across something particularly interesting or of high quality, I like to share that with you as well. And I consider the work that these guys are doing as very high quality and guys that I'd like to get to know more. So we're talking about possibly you know, getting together in future um, adventures, uh, possibly in Alaska, as you'll find out by listening to this podcast. And then we'll see where it goes from there. But I'm kind of excited about uh, opportunities that... Um, myself and these guys might be taking advantage of together in the future. So part of why I'm making a video about this is not only to expose you to these guys or to introduce you to these guys but also to talk about uh, just podcasts in general. So th their podcast is one that I have been listening to recently. I think I've listened to all of their episodes. But podcasts in general, I'm curious how many people watching this channel actually listen to podcasts as well. It's something that um, I've shown in, I'm in, becoming more interested in doing one myself because I'm interested in listening to podcasts. I do some driving, as you know, and when I am, typically the reception in the areas that I'm driving through for radio are poor, so the selection is very low and uh, sporadic. And if I go any distance on a on an outdoor trip somewhere, then I'm you know, leaving the range of a radio station that I might start listening to. So I generally just don't end up listening to the radio. So I'd like to have a podcast playing. So this will be one of them. Uh, Jordan Peterson I've, I've started listening to fairly recently. Uh, some Joe Rogan podcasts. Um, he's got some real interesting guests on, on his podcasts. Uh, Bert Kreiser, only be, uh, the comedian. Um, Down-to-earth guy and maybe abrasive to some because he's pretty crude but uh, I just like how open he is and uh, I just started listening to him actually after he he showed um, uh, one of my videos on one of his podcasts so it kind of renewed my interest and in, or he got me interested in who he is so I started listening to more of his stuff so those are some of the podcasts I listen to and it and then I'll just pick up random episodes of other people's content as well but I'm interested actually if you have any suggestions on on what you're listening to, what you suggest that I might be interested in listening to, then please uh, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear that. Anyway, and the other thing I want to know is how many people would be interested in hearing me uh, do a, a podcast, either weekly or at least monthly or something like that until I get going, and what you'd like to hear from me and who you'd like to hear me talk to or interview on the podcast. So I think when I start that, um, I'm working on an internet solution for here, so I'm hoping that's why I'm thinking it's going to end up being the end of the year or early next year before I have that operational to the um, high enough quality that I'm not going to, it's not going to cut out or be poor audio in the middle of a podcast. So that's why I haven't done it yet and why I never do live uh, feeds or whatever you call it here. But um, if you are interested, like I said, please just let me know whether it's something you would like to listen to and what kind of content you'd like to hear from me. So the other part of that is I don't want to just record the audio. I'd also like to um, show the the film of it, either me and the guest or at least me with the guest in, in Skype uh, screen or something like that. So that would be uh, something I'd upload onto this channel as well. Anyway, just thought I'd share that with you. I'm supposed to be out on a canoe trip right now, so if you're watching this current, um, it's uh, actually the day I was supposed to start my trip and it's beautiful weather and a beautiful forecast for the duration of, of what my trip was supposed to be. Unfortunately what happened is that the high um, ground lakes in Algonquin Park where I was headed are still partially frozen so the park actually hasn't opened for backcountry travel yet and backcountry camping. So 
the result is that I'm not leaving for another few days and then I'll be gone for probably a little bit longer uh, as well so that's impacting my uh, time here so I'm gonna get caught up on some other things on the on the sauna spend a, probably two days working on that before I get back out get on onto that canoe trip so that's why I'm still sitting here talking to you anyway that's it I'm gonna sign off here and get to work finish up my chaga tea and and to try splitting some uh, some boards for the for the door of the sauna so that's it thanks for watching everybody uh, don't forget to hit the like button if you don't mind and uh, and also subscribe to the, not only this channel but the other channel as well and hit the notification bell if you want to be notified every time I upload a video look forward to seeing you up at the cabin next time take care so very very similar to what we're doing today so it's, um, yeah, I mean, he's the, he's the forefather, I would say, of what we're doing, or what I'm doing, at least. So what would it be like if you went to that, to his cabin? Is that a place that is on your radar? <laughs> I think you know the answer. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I want to go I mean, there with you. I've been to Lake Clark, actually, Ron and Missy and myself, we've been to Lake Clark to film bears, but not where the cabin's at. The Lake Clark is so big. I mean, we go to the coastal area where we film bears, but I've never been to the actual lake and where he actually has his cabin. And I think it would just be amazing just to go That's check it out. That's definitely a bucket list. Well, to, yeah, it's a bucket list, uh, list trip for sure for me. It's uh, to do that and also, of course, the wildlife. I mean, uh, Alaska is the last frontier for me as well as for most people to who are outdoorsmen, that's for sure. So, yeah, that's absolutely on my list.